Hello all, welcome to the second part of the series. In this video we will take a look at the theory of the solution and we will drive the respective equations to smoothen stress strain field. Now we understood the base of the problem. Our current goal is to implement a smoothing technique and output results to paraview like in the picture below. As you can see, there are many types of smoothing techniques. But we will only implement the technique highlighted with orange italic font. You can use this list to search new techniques and implement them. The most basic techniques is averaging and extrapolation. As far as I know, it is the technique used in the industry the most due to its simple nature. We will implement the global L2 projection technique from Hinton and Campbell. It's a continuous stress strain field approximation technique. The technique utilizes a minimization algorithm to approximate a stress strain field which is valid for every node. After the mathematical operation, a unique and global minimum type of stress strain field is found. The reason of choosing this technique is its accuracy. However, accuracy comes with computational cost. Now let's start to understand our solution technique. Assume that the stress strain field is defined at Gauss points with Gauss point per element, number of competition points for each element in the structure. This stress strain field can be represented with the right side formula. This function would yield four components for linear quadrilateral element, in other words, d2, q, 4n. And this function is only valid for one element, not for all structure. The meaning of this formula is described below. The summation of some a1 to a4 coefficients multiplied by n1 to n4 shape functions can express the stress strain field for a single element. Shape functions are universal for a particular type of element, for example D2Q8N. However, coefficients can be different from element to element. This approximation technique for an element can represent stress or strain field. Now, assume that stress strain field is defined at element nodes with number of nodes, points for each element in the structure. This stress strain field can be represented with the right side formula. It is very similar to Gauss point. This function would yield four components for linear quadrilateral element D2Q4N. This function means the summation of some alpha1 to alpha4 coefficients multiplied by n1 to n4 shape functions can express the stress or strain field for a single element. Again, Shape functions are universal, however, coefficients can be different. This function is valid for both stress and strain fields. Now we have two different functions in the same form. F is the stress strain function defined at element nodes. G is the stress strain function at element Gauss points. We need a continuous F function valid for every node in the structure. To do that, we need to minimize the difference between f and g. In other words, find the f function such that the difference between two fields are minimal. So our aim is to minimize the difference between f and g functions. We can define the L2 norm between two functions and measure their difference. L2 norm difference formula is given in the right side. Now we define our function to minimize error function. G is known to us. It consists of shape functions, n's, and the calculated stress strain values, a's. However, we only know shape functions in the f. Coefficients, alphas, are the values we are looking for. They are the nodal values. By minimizing the difference between two functions, we will obtain the nodal values. The way of doing this is by least squares integral. The reason for least squares integral is it outputs n number of equations corresponding to n number of nodes. Furthermore, 
These linear equations will help us in assembling the global system. By differentiating error function over the alpha coefficients of f function and equalizing it to zero would give us the required condition for minimization. This problem can be expressed with three terms. C matrix is called mass matrix, A vector is called nodal values, and B vector is called force load vector. This equation is calculated for every element, then assembled in a fashion similar to assembling stiffness matrix. If we solve this linear system, we would get nodal values for stress and strain. After this competition, the post-processing comes. In summary, this is a minimization problem. We had a stress-strain field from our finite element calculation. We want a projection on nodes such that the calculated field and nodal field's difference is minimal. We achieved this minimization via least squares integral. Equating the partial derivatives of error function to zero gave us a linear system. Now, what was these mathematical calculations? What do they mean? It seems very complex in the first time. We will in investigate five easy examples in the next video. We will understand the problem and the solution better. And for now, thank you for watching.